Hi there, everybody. A good laugh can get us through the most stressful situations, even holiday shopping, which isn't that stressful if you just do it online. I can't think of two people I'd rather spend time laughing with than comedian Sarah Colonna and 99.9 .9 KISW radio host Steve Miggs. Welcome good to see you. Both. Hi, yeah. good to Happy see you. Happy holidays. Thank How's you. How's everything going for you guys? Good. I'm Sarah, you've got a a season pickup for Insatiable. Yes, yes, the Netflix show that I'm on, Insatiable. We got season two, just so we start shooting Congrats. in March. Yeah. That's really exciting. I'm it's so a stoked. very funny show. You have a guest starring role on Shameless. Has that aired already? It hasn't. It's um, I'm, the, I'm in the last five episodes of this season, so they'll start airing, I think, January. So somewhere Can you give us like, even a clue of what, what your character is uh, like? Just, she's inappropriate like everyone else on that show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why? It's funny. And John, apparently your husband, John Ryan, our, our former uh, punter and good friend and handsome and lovely husband yes. to you, yes. will be opening your show that's coming up here in Seattle. Yes. Has that happened before? It, he did it once before when I performed at the Triple Door. Mm -hmm. I'm a comedian for anyone that's curious what show I'm doing. And, yes. and he was like, and we'll tell you where she's performing yeah, and what's happening a little bit later. Uh, but he uh, opened up for you. He was like, I'm going to host it. It'll just be fun. <laughs> and I thought he was just going to get up and like introduce people. He had jokes. He had like well-written jokes. Yeah. And I was like, did it go over well? It did. It went over well. <laughs> really well. So he was like, let me do it again in Everett. It'll be fun. That because, sounds like fun. You know, he just, I mean, obviously he loves it here and knows the people and the fans. So he's comfortable right. here. And, um, but yeah, and then he like, has these like well-written zinger jokes and I'm like okay <laughs> pump the brakes that's my job <laughs> trying to take my job He's looking at you saying what it's hard, yeah. I, it's <laughs> hard. <laughs> Steve you've got a, a band is yes. this fairly new uh it's about a year old called okay. Bruiser Brody Bruiser uh -huh. Brody yep. and you're doing a fundraiser tonight tonight uh it's called the Beating Heart music show that we're going to be doing at the Highway 99 Blues Club the story behind it is incredible uh, a couple years ago we lost a great man by the name of Joel Eggert he died in a motorcycle accident he was an organ donor and so he donated, he kept people alive after his life left us. And uh, one of the people that he, that his heart was donated to is a lady in Alaska. She's flying in for this show. Wow. So it's a pretty powerful and heavy night. A lot of his friends are going to be there. It's put together by the West Seattle Wrecking Crew, which is a motorcycle club that was put together after he passed away. That was always his dream to have all of his buddies have a unified group and they could spend time together. So they made that happen after he passed away. And tonight we're celebrating his life at the Highway 99 Blues Club. My band's going to be playing yes. and it's going to be a pretty special evening and we're going to raise money uh, for some good people. Good. I'm so glad you're doing that. We should all consider being an organ donor. Absolutely. Let's yeah. talk about the Golden Globes. So the nominations are out, and Sarah, you're the expert in this. Um, <laughs> we're, I, we're calling some of these things surprises. I always get a little uncomfortable with the word snub because that seems like, you know, if somebody's left off an awards list, that it, it, it wasn't an insult. It's just that there are lots of good people yeah. and you pick five. Yeah, and I feel like this year there were a lot of sh movies and shows that were so good. So... I, don't I agree. Know. Yeah, I think some that were left off. I was like, like I saw that movie, The Hate You Give. It was left off, which I thought was a really great movie. Mm -hmm. But then you can't argue with the other nominees either, I guess. Because so. they're awfully good. So Bodyguard is an is that's a Netflix series, yeah. right? And it stars Richard Madden, who was Rob Stark in Game of Thrones and can do no wrong in my book. And I actually thought it was really good. That was a bit of a surprise nominee. Did either of you think that was going to be I honestly on the thought list? we were talking about the movie with Whitney Houston. No, no, that, that's not this year. That would be a big surprise. I am oblivious to most movies and television shows. I only watch professional wrestling, and that's about it. And bad movies, and I fall asleep during all the good movies. So okay. all of these movies are snubs to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite good. It's on Netflix. It's eight parts. It won't take you that long. I will long. say, I, I yeah. watched, we binged through Insatiable, and that good. show was incredible. So I'm Hysterical. so happy another season is coming. I highly Thank recommend you. that. That's Thank about you. all I know. That's okay. <laughs> that works for You're me. honest. You're an yes. honest man. Did uh, Have you seen Bodyguard yet? I have not seen okay. it, but I knew about it at least better than Steve. That much I knew. I knew. Well, apparently anybody knows it better than Steve. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> so there was nothing for This Is Us and nothing for Handmaid's Tale, which I thought was actually pretty shocking, as good as that series has been. Yeah, both Either of them. them both actually. of them, too. Yeah, I mean, everyone on both shows is so good, like the, the ta and just and the writing and the talent. And right. so I am surprised by that, and especially This Is Us, because I don't think they nominated them last year either, if I'm correct. I'm not sure. So I don't feel like, and they're, that show, I mean, you just watch it and you just start crying. Like, I don't know what else they have to do to get it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, so All Roads 
to glory lead through New Day. Um, the Good Place got a nomination. Darcy Darden has been on here. Sharp Objects. Uh, Chris Messina was on New Day talking about it. And Crazy Rich Asians, the Best Motion Picture nomination, Musical or Comedy, John Chu and Henry Golding were here. So I'm pretty sure your nomination yes. is say. coming up for Next season year. two. Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> so here, I'm going to choose. We used and to have I will a real. Sure thank Margaret in my speech. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yes. so I'll be at home wearing the frock I would have worn if I could have come. <laughs> Waiting um, for that thank so... you. <laughs> come on, Sarah. Where's my thank you? <laughs> so this is kind of, uh, well, I don't know what to say about this because I think you should do it you want to do but black Christmas trees are a big thing now oh uh, they look like this there are the you know the red ones the all red ones that are at the yep. White House there are tons of new searches for a black Christmas tree here's a, a photo that sort of looks like a regular tree to yeah, me, but believe me, good. it's all black. And, and the advantage is supposed to be that the ornaments stand out or that you can put it up as a holiday tree and decorate it for um, Halloween and for Thanksgiving or And, and golf else. kids love Christmas, too. Yeah, so they <laughs> that's deserve, right, they, yeah, they love Santa. They deserve <laughs> a tree. How do we feel about this? I like it better than the red ones. Uh, the red ones kind of freaked me out a little bit. I don't know why. The it's red just, ones freaked me out, too. and too they much. Did, It reminded me of Handmaid's Tale to tie the two subjects together. It, yes, it, it seems like you're going through like some kind of you're walking to your death or right, something. If you put a bonnet the, on top, of <laughs> yeah. that would complete the look. So, are you okay with breaking from tradition? We would stick with the traditional kind. I, I, I remember growing up, and my parents brought home one of those silver ones once, and yes. I was not happy not, about that because yeah. it's just something about. I love the traditional aspect of Christmas with the Christmas tree. I used to love going to get a Christmas tree. Mm -hmm. My wife and I would always go to a farm, one of those Christmas tree farms, right. until one time a spider came out of it, and that ended. My oh. wife is not. Yeah, okay, not you have the same kind of reaction. Yeah. She's like, our artificial trees from here on out. So we've now we're just getting artificial trees. But I still like we get those stupid little sticks that make it smell like a real fresh Christmas tree. <laughs> but I just yeah. love the old school Christmas tree vibe to it all, and it's one of my favorite parts of the year. I know I'm actually sad because John Ryan, he's not in town tonight. He'll be there. He'll be there tomorrow, but he's not. He's out of town right now. And he would be here. He would be. I don't know. I would want his take on this because yes. he's such a fan of Christmas. He, he wants five the traditional Christmas trees up. Yeah. Tell Margaret about the one that has snows on it. He has one it. that snows on itself. The snow. There's snow at the bottom, and then it shoots up and snows back down on itself. I love it. Don't you it's, love a man who loves Christmas I do. that it, way? It's like so hard not to get in the spirit. You know, yeah. I mean, I love it too, but he loves it so much that it gets me more that, excited. Well, so. that actually makes me want to cry. That's so exciting. <laughs> I think that's very touching. Um, okay, PETA is trying to um, get us to stop using anti-animal language, and they mean by that uh, just idioms that we mm -hmm. use commonly. So instead of saying kill two birds with one stone, they would prefer us to say feed two birds with one scone. <laughs> uh, do birds like scones? Everyone likes scones. That's true. The, That's well, true. Washington Fair has great yes. scones. And also, <laughs> muffin doesn't rhyme, <laughs> yeah, rhyme with scone. Right, they're so trying to, to rhyme. Uh. So, okay, be the bit, instead of be the guinea pig, they want us to say be the test tube, which it, it doesn't strange. have a ring. No. Um, this is one I kind of don't like, beat a dead horse. They're, they say feed a fed horse, but that doesn't make any sense. Why would you feed a horse that's already been fed? So. Right, um, then they're overfeeding them, and then you're still doing something bad the, to the animal. I think the rhyming is getting in the yeah. way of finding a new, uh, instead yeah. of bringing home the bacon, bring home the bagels. I am all for that. I'm <laughs> totally in. Um, and don't forget the schmear. Take the bull by the horns. They say take the flower by the thorns. Also a, a weird concept. Yeah. Yeah, because it would hurt you. Mm. <laughs> hurt your I hand. just don't understand how an entire group of people agreed that this sounds like a great idea. Like, it had to come from the main person. Because why else would anyone agree to this? It just seems... Well, I can see sort of trying to get out of the language things sure. that, that, you know, are really uncomfortable if you think about them are cruel. It's just that the suggestions are, are, bad. are so bad. Like, They're... beat a dead horse, I can see sounds... <laughs> con is, you know, I can understand why you changed that one. But I don't, bring home the bacon, I guess I never really ever even... I never even really associated that's... it with. Maybe that's the problem they're telling us, but... Perhaps. Yeah. I, I just thought know. it was that fun song. Remember the commercial? Like, I can bring home the bacon. Bacon, fry it up in a pan. Yeah, you can't say that about bagels. But then what was the rest of it? Never let him forget he's a man. You're right. So it yeah. had some problems. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just remember that commercial and thinking, what? Where are those red Christmas trees? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, one final one, viral love note. So um, a guy and his friend who's a girl but not his girlfriend sent a note to their waiter. It said, hey, if you're not gay, my friend thinks you're cute. Here's her number, and if you are, here's mine. <laughs> 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 and the, the 
operator <laughs> thought it was flattering and, and put it online but never called the number because he didn't know who sent it to him. Uh, but it's kind of cute, isn't it? It is cute. It's I mean, worth a try. Uh, yeah, but, and that's like the perfect way to get hit on because it's like <laughs> both of us like you. So right. whichever one pick. you're into, we're takers. Like. <laughs> it's awesome. Sarah performs at the estate. <laughs> that was a snort laugh over there. Sorry. I love it. That's one of my favorite things in life. Sarah performs at the historic Everett Theater tomorrow night, December 7th, with shows at 8 and 10 p.m. That sounds awfully oh. later. No, just 8 o'clock. Just only 8 o'clock, yeah. no 10. No. I'm glad you pointed that out. Yes, at 10 o'clock they have to go home and throw snow on the Christmas <laughs> exactly. tree. Right. And of course, Steve is up early every weekday morning as co-host of BJ and Miggs mornings on 99.9 KISW. Do I have to say all of that every time? You say The Rock or... The yeah, Rock. Do whatever, say whatever you want, Margaret. That's so much easier. Yeah. The Rock, 5.30. I don't even like saying all that either. So <laughs> I let BJ do that part. <laughs> Coming up, a Christmas movie marathon in snack form. My dreams are coming true. Celebrate the movies you love. One